Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute. We explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. We're gonna take a look at a couple speed editing tools today. Ways of making your workflow very fast. So let's jump into Capture One. Here we are, and we're going to come on up to edit edit keyboard shortcuts just right there and keyboard shortcuts are an amazing way of doing two things doing things quickly of course but also making your capture one experience customizable so the first thing we're going to take a look at is shortcut keys this is the type of a uh, shortcut uh, and keyboard shortcut that you are accustomed to, such as Command Control O for open, Command or Control N for new. But you can come in to any of these blank spaces, which might be something you want to create a keyboard shortcut for, such as import images, and perhaps type in something here, such as perhaps Command 9. If I did Command 9 and typed it here, and then I closed, when I go to Command 9 on my keyboard, it brings up the Import dialog box. And this would customize your Capture One experience. Let's come back here, Edit, Edit Keyboard Shortcuts, and let's take a look at another speed editing tool. If I want to keep import images there with command or control 9, I can. I could also delete it, but we're going to move into speed edit keys. And this is really great. You might want to customize these as I have done, and I'll show you exactly what I did. For me, exposure is the E key. Contrast is equals, B is brightness, R is saturation. H is highlights, S is shadows, W is white, K is blacks, right? And the other ones that you can see here. If I wanted to change these, I could just highlight, delete this, and press a different key if I really wanted to, but I'm gonna keep this as H. Now, what does this mean? Let's come into editing. Please remember, these are my speed edit keys. It's just the single key on the keyboard. Let's come into this image. If I hold the B for brightness, and I'm gonna to change to this cursor tool, hold B for brightness, take a look at this down here, brightness comes up. Now I could, of course, grab this slider and drag it and I'd be able to slowly change the brightness, but that's not the most uh, interesting way to do this. Instead, click and drag up to change brightness up, click and drag down to take it down, and I can move it to anything I want. So I could bring brightness up to there if I want to. I could press equals for contrast and bring contrast up. All right. I could hold K for black point and take my black point down. And that is a before and after just holding keyboard shortcut keys. Now it's not super dramatic because brightness is not very dramatic, but if I wanted to move the exposure line, of course, I could do that. Let's grab another in, uh, image, hold E for exposure, click and drag down and it goes underexposed, click and drag up overexposed. And that's just moving the exposure slider. Now if I have my tool over here, hold E, hold up exposure and move it, it moves the slider here. It is the same tool, but it is a fast way of doing it without even needing the correct tool tab to be open. Really great way of improving your speed and workflow. So between those two things, you should be able to speed up your editing incredibly quickly. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.